Hold on a minute. Who's that? The one with the glasses on. Um, his name is, uh, Michael Weller. An American mercenary. Dead. Dead? Identified by his papers and a ring. He, like other foreign elements, was passed off as a subversive rather than part of the military operation. Well, you know, a corpse is a corpse. And it was much easier for the government that way. If he was a subversive, there could be a million explanations why he was here. If he was part of the armed forces, there'd be none. Why do you ask, Claudia? Have you seen him before? No. Nothing. I thought... I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I didn't weep. Did we? Didn't we? Mrs. Trenier. Relax, ladies. Well, really, all, all I wanted to say was that we're very, very worried because... Something is happening in Jack's apartment. Oh, please, speak Spanish. What is going on up there? What have I said? What have I said? within our system freely. We're not looking for any particular face here. There is no recognizable look to the killer. He could be anyone. Perhaps someone you know. Someone in your family. Someone you work with. Someone you trust. Even your next door neighbor. <laughs> What's going on? Shh. Remember the shots last night? We think that something happened to Jack. Who the hell is Jack? Shh. What? Mrs. Trenier, if you should call the police. Me? Why me? Because the lady on the television said we should all be involved. You believe everything they say on television? Go ahead. Involve yourself. I'm not going to stop you. But remember, we could be making a terrible mistake. I say we wait. I'm not sure I understand. Are you suggesting that Mr. Luke is a killer? Shh. But 
it's absurd. Absurd? My dear. The victim was so disfigured he could not be identified. They only know that he was male, dark-haired, and about 26 years old. Oh, my God. Let's not get carried away, please. It can't be. The victim was found in a hotel miles from here. Oh, but that's the simplest thing in the world. He could have killed him here, cut him into little pieces, and taken him to the oh. hotel. Oh, my God. Oh. You're wasting time, ladies. One of us should go up there and... I could knock at the door myself. Oh. <laughs> or maybe two of us, you know, show a little unity. Just knock at the door and ask for Jack. That wouldn't be any good. He'd just say he'd gone out. Maybe he's not in. Shh. He always brought the Sunday papers, always. And if he couldn't have come, he would have let us know. He would have called, wouldn't he? If he was that sort of person, he would have called. Listen, let's wait until six if by that time yes let's all meet at my place at six then we'll decide what to do oh well uh, i think it would be better if we met at mrs trenny's because i don't want to be running up and down the stairs all day no not running up and down the stairs all day no. okay six o'clock then hmm? like to talk to Jack. Well, he's away. I told them to wait. I... I think we should all buy him a little something. What have I said? I don't mean anything expensive. A, a gesture. Something small. I 
don't know. I don't know. Some flowers. It sort of seems such a ghastly image. All right, don't move. She just don't move. Don't move. You think we should go to the hospital? No, 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 no. Don't move. All right. Is Adrian in? Clean the carpet, I promise. I'm so glad you're home. You're my brother, Adrian. I love you. I love you so much. Talk to me, Adrian. You're making me feel weird. God damn you! I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, okay? Just... Just, just talk to me. Just a little. 